one, buddy. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, likewise. So, good yeah, night. It was a good night, wasn't it? Well, I can remember, so, uh, you know. Well, this is the thing, right? <laughs> I, I, was, I was kind of thinking, I have so much to learn from Paul. He's one. Let's, let's start with, like, table dancing. Table dancing. Paul. Yeah, I know. Teach me some know. tricks for next year, It's all maybe. about balance, you know, and a pole, Strength maybe. Strength core. You know. Strong core. I think it's about core strength. And not having uh, ACL replacement <laughs> knees, that, that does help in the equation but uh, yeah old sport injuries unfortunately did you make it down off the table without help no i did that's it i've actually got proof of the actual the person moving the chair away from me so uh, yeah it's all on tape don't worry it wasn't, it wasn't me it wasn't me losing balance <laughs> no my knees wouldn't allow that so uh, yeah unfortunately it was there uh, but it's brilliant it was a good night yeah it was a good night wasn't it I mean, I wasn't even gutted that you won. I was like, oh, he deserves a long time. <laughs> at last, coming. right? At last. At last. Like, oh, give it to at him. Last. Just give it to him already. How many times? But at last, yeah. So, <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm, good. I'm genuinely, genuinely good happy night. for you. No, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh. And likewise with your awards, you know. Oh. Like we, we were quite surprised. We're like, is this, is this really <laughs> happening? No, it was good. It was good. It was different this year as well. So, uh, and massive. you know, the whole thing was it was well put together. It was a good, good sort of event. The whole sort of choreography was was worked very well. Highly commended. Then getting trophies as well, which I think you should do uh, as well. Uh, like you say, it's all about the competing, and I think if you got that far and it's between sort of two people, then uh, yeah, I think you know there's always an award for a highly commended should be there instead of just the recognition. Yeah. I think it's it's nice to have that piece of uh, you know silverware or trophy on the uh, glassware uh, exactly as as what it is there, but uh, yeah, commonly known as silverware, darling, in the football yeah, sorry, world. Sorry, but, sorry, sorry. Um, Catching up with the still a millennial, you know. But uh, yeah, it's, it's always good. It's encouraging for them. It's encouraging for everyone. I mean, it's always good to pick up an award and, uh, you know, um, it doesn't matter. I mean, if, if, if you don't, you always get sad, I guess. So. No, no, um, do you get sad, though? I, I was having this conversation and I think... Yeah, I do. I mean, do it, yeah, because everyone puts in an incredible effort. You know, yeah. I mean, everyone in the office, they, they work incredibly hard. Uh, like I say, going down to the behind the scene awards, I think that's becoming a lot more important as well uh, as the years go on. And I think, um, you know, everyone should uh, be received for what, the, what they've done and the efforts they put in. I remember, yeah, there was a year where we didn't pick up, you didn't pick up, and it yeah. is, you get a little bit like, you were like yeah, but I think that until the next drink, yeah, and then... But, <laughs> but then you also think, oh my God. You move on, you got a better better at the next year, haven't you? But so it gives you a little bit, so yeah, so of course, yeah. It totally does, because yeah, you question what you've done over the year, yeah, yeah. how you can get it better. How you can make better, how you can do it but, better. But yeah. honestly, like, I mean this generally, getting on the shot list for me is mm -hmm. a massive thing. Absolutely. No, it's always incredibly to be up there, yeah. With like these big names yeah. and I always think that in itself it is a testament. Absolutely, no, I think like I say and then to have that as an accolade as well, the shortlist and uh, no it's, it's um, you know we're very excited when it comes out, there's some incredible talent out there at the moment yeah. and there's some great up and coming talent and uh, yeah you've got to be aware of it you know there's, there's people who want to take the crown so to speak so uh, you know. <laughs> So you've got to be on your toes, but you're only as good as your last work, and that's Absolutely. what we uh, we abide by in the studio. So, yeah, it's um, you know the whole team try to, to encourage each other to like, try to spur each other on, and uh, the night, yeah, everyone let's go. So it's a yeah. little bit of a wild night, but uh, it's fun. Everyone in the industry gets together. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of uh, you know competition out there, but we're all friends we're at the all same friends. time. And I think that's the and I think that's, in our that's, that's, We actually get on. And that's how it goes. Like you know, people. we were sitting in a judging committee that day. We were uh, also, so uh, you know, there's a bit of banter going on through there. But uh, but that's what makes the industry fun and uh, exciting. Like I said, I've been here 22 years now, and I like say you were you were born and raised here. I so um, you know, it's home. I've I'm, well, I've probably been here longer than you now, then haven't <laughs> I? So. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. But uh, like I say, it's um, it's an incredible challenge every day. It's a challenge. The clients are great, but also challenging as well. And, but do you um, think they're maturing? Like I found a big difference. So. Very much so. They really get design. Over now. the years, they, you know, I mean, when I came out here, you had Dubai FM. That was the only thing that yeah. was was there. Then you had a different radio station come on board. There was different films. There yeah. was different genres coming across uh, and getting recognized. And you saw that shift in people's attitudes, yep. people's mentalities, the people coming into making decisions, people coming into power. They were young. They were well-educated. They had been educated overseas. And they were coming in with a you know a little bit of a different angle, a wealth of knowledge, but not but something inbred here. They'd yeah, sort of yeah. uh, diversity. 
diversified and I think that made it a lot more interesting for us to be creative, use materials that are, you know, current in the rest of the world, yeah, not just synonymous with, with here, so yeah, yeah international. Um, but yeah, we've got a great platform to do it on here. I think that, you know, people give us a lot of freedom, carte blanche to do stuff, but you've got to deliver and if you don't deliver, that's, yeah. that's always the problem because, uh, you know, with reputation, you know, you have to keep on delivering. The, st the standard gets higher, right? But, so. but this is the key change for me, having grown mm. up here. You know, we were the importers mm. of design talent. Mm. And now, you know, we've got international projects, you've mm. got international projects. Absolutely. We're exporting Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're doing we're the same design, thing there. Which is awesome. But I think, like you say, coming through the ranks, I think you won Young Designer, didn't I you? Did you won in the first ten, year or yeah. second year when it was, I was around? Yeah. Yeah. Was it in Gadge? Gadge? I was at Godwin Austin Johnson yeah, then, so yeah, that was a great platform. Yeah, because we won Best Company that year. And, oh. um, so we've kind of come, come yeah, up parallel. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been there, cool. but uh, like you say, it's, you, you always... Uh, Respect the people in the industry. Like I said, Absolutely. there's some there's some talent that's knocking at the door there. We just got to keep ahead of it. Well, myself <laughs> and you, All but uh, you know, but there, there's there's challenges out there, and I think but, that but makes it healthy and collaborations. And I think JVs, I think that's the way to go. I mean, we we're working with other companies, delivering different, bigger scale of projects. Yeah. So I think uh, you know it's healthy. And like I say there's a there's a competition. There's always competition in the market. But if a project is worthy of someone's vote, I think it should get that vote. Yeah. There shouldn't be any prejudice or any, uh, like when we're on the judging committee, you judge fairly. Of course. Uh, you can't you have those, uh, you know, you can't have those thoughts or inhibitions about anyone else because you're a competitor, but yeah. you're not. At the end of the day, you're judging on the project, the you're judging the project. on the merit and the talent. And I think, you know, as long as that's sort of upheld in the market, I think it's a, it's a good very but, strong but base I do like that the judging committee was quite mixed up, right? Yeah. It wasn't just architects and designers, yeah, it was, you Stardust. know, faculty and academia. Absolutely. And I thought that was interesting. Yeah, it makes it very, uh, yeah, that gives the dynamic to it, doesn't it? I mean, I mean, you're not just being judged from your fellow peers or professionals yeah. because everyone has different tastes, everyone has different opinions. So, yeah, it does sort of stretch across the board, it gives you a little bit more diversity in the decisions that are being made. And obviously, uh, hopefully, it sparks a lot of conversation and different topics to be discussed in there because yeah everyone would would sort of try to Coming like we say have, have, have an opinion and challenge obviously everything that's getting done so I, I think it was a, a very fair judging uh, sort of committee I think it was a, a different event like I said I think what, what happened this year was a lot different even with the arrival experience the space itself yeah. you know the whole uh, night uh, being how it was it was it was different to other years you know sort of um, it sort of evolved, it's yeah. uh, you know, well, morphed thing, into something a little bit bigger. <laughs> kind of thinking of uh, our parallels mm. again, we've just rebranded and of you've just rebranded as well, yeah. or you've started a Sounds new... very familiar. Sounds huh? really Ro familiar. Ro 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 I don't know so what's You can't even here. say raw these days, it's raw, no, no, just go raw, man, you know. No, 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 we just say raw. <laughs> But I think I think that's an interesting phase, right? Because you grow with a company, and then you think, oh wait, it's getting bigger than yeah. you know yourself. As like, we were discussing as the we other discussed. day, I mean, a name is name. Uh, you know, your name is synonymous with that brand. But yes, at the end of the day, there becomes a time where you need to obviously think about uh, bringing in partners, yeah. you know, shareholdings, everything else that comes with getting bigger. I wouldn't get as big as or too big as not to manage or still be personally involved. I mean, you yeah. still have to be personally involved in everything. And that's why, obviously, the connectivity back to my name and with your name yeah. and with Ron and name with Rogue will allow that to happen, but it will allow other people to take it by the helm and yeah. take it and steer it in the way they want to steer it, in the direction they want to steer it, without you sort of physically having to be involved every day. And I think giving that freedom to people you trust mm -hmm. and people who have come through, grown through the studio, going through the office, and uh, having that trust in them is something that, that's paramount in the industry we're in. Yeah. Because if you don't, you're not you're, you're not going to go any forward. You know, yeah. you're going to be static. Uh, and this business is all about it's all about the kinetic yourself. and reinventing. Yeah. And I think uh, to have that platform, um, yeah, it's it's. It, it's uh, it's a difficult step. It's a difficult decision to make. It is. And, it's a um, tough one. I felt like it. I was yeah. losing my identity for a bit. Yeah. But then I thought, and we've had this conversation before. Mm. I was like, I'm a designer at the core. That's my core genius. Absolutely. I have one. Let me design. Let me design. <laughs> so I don't have to run a business and do HR and management. <laughs> and just just in the three weeks since we've rebranded, yeah. I feel relieved. Mm. That, uh, maybe know, you can give me some of that relief. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, we well, yeah, we well, seem to be involved in everything, but. 
as I said when we, we picked up the award the other night, you know, this was more about the team. Okay, yes, it was a massive honour to pick it up, you know, I was over the moon. It's, it's something that uh, has probably been one of the best awards that's meant the most, you know. And um, you've got lifetime achievement coming, don't you? Oh, really? Yeah, I need to get a little bit more grey. <laughs> you know? years, you get it. I think, uh, yeah, I think um, we were in a, a magazine the other day, and my niece Selene has. Kevin and Brian Johnson. So yeah, I mean, uh, they're oh, already they're yeah. already talking about us like that. So no, but Kevin's a good friend. And Brian is a, is an amazing man. Brian's in, one of my in the industry. Mentors. Exactly, he's, he's been here. Yeah. Um, you know, he's a lovely guy. People look up to him. But I think that's what we grow up with. And you know, I think there was a time, you know, probably uh, a good four or five years ago, where it started to become a little bit more diversified, whereas people were coming in and the whole industry was changing. Not so much in a positive way, it was actually quite negative at the time. And then obviously things happened with the sort of social economics and uh, you know, the people who were actually here mm -hmm. set up their businesses here with the smaller people, old school designers who had that friendship with other designers in the industry were the ones who sort of survived, you know, because um, it was all about helping each other out it's, you know, it's, it's old school you know yeah, there's an old, old guard in, in, yeah. in the industry here and that's what you would do to promote new talent as well I mean a lot of people who are setting up companies now have gone through the ranks of my studio Maliha for example I mean, yeah. look at where she is now she's incredible talent she's up there direct for Marriott interiors and uh, you know she was my first employee oh, I didn't so know um, that. Wow. yeah yeah anyway, so uh, you know I actually took her straight out of university and then uh, you know she grew her career from there but just wow. to be a part of that yeah uh, many other people out there and you know you like we say with Brian what well, you've with done Brian, with, with totally. Godwin and Austin Johnson and I'm sure Brian looks out for all of us yeah. that have left Gadget yeah. and gone on to do our own thing yeah. quite proudly no, but I think that's 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 the benchmark isn't it yeah. I mean that's how you set yourself not everyone can do it Dubai as we know the Middle East is a, is a very tough market to crack. But you know, can I just say, I think when the market gets tougher, then the ones with grit really stay. So, yeah. you know, you talked about the socioeconomic mm. crisis a couple of years ago. Mm. I mean, 10 years ago, not a couple of years ago. And I feel like it did kind of clear mm. out a lot of stuff. And the people who were, who were yeah. really in it for the long run stayed and have gone on to do yeah. wonderful things. Exactly. It's all about that. It's all about sort of, uh, you know, that stamina, having that sort of determination and um, yeah there's always a bit of fortune and good luck with everything you do and hard work lots of hard, hard work. work I mean that goes without a doubt I mean yeah. that's um, you know something we we deal with every day and uh, you know I, I probably wouldn't know what to do with myself I didn't do that so, it's quite know, sad that we say things like <laughs> there's that nothing to get out of bed for <laughs> right but um, you know and when you want to lie in you never do that lying so uh, you know but it's all uh, it's all good it's all good and uh, you know travel a lot in the the market at the moment I would say we're diversifying into very different demographics so uh, that's all very exciting for us and uh, yeah it's good to be where we are at the moment fun times ahead um, no, I think like I say I think uh, you know, moving forward everyone's got to move forward this is a, a huge sort of a, you know place where we are both you know yourself and, and where myself as a company new grounds new territories very exciting times and I think you know next year we are going to enter as bit uh, as rogue so yeah. I think that's going to be an exciting sort of uh, you know um, evolution to what our brand was so uh, something different something as a, a different challenge and yeah, yeah hopefully uh, you know we'll be successful again I think uh, fingers crossed. but uh, fingers crossed yeah but you know like I always say to the team this is brilliant this was our big night let's enjoy it to the fullest Absolutely. win or not win Absolutely. but then for the next 11 months let's put our heads down and do the best you've got to get up in the next day and go straight in straight it there's no it. rest is there you know no. for the wicked no rest for the wicked. we are no. wicked <laughs> we wrapped up. No, <laughs>